The sounds, the music, of constant industry, safe, sophisticated, powerful, modern and efficient. This is the rhythm of Tennessee. Alcoa's Tennessee operations, as complex as 100 finely tuned musicians playing together. So much happens here. A vast ensemble of voices and instruments somehow become melodic, efficient, in sync. Our rhythm is a powerful medley of good old fashioned work, a commitment to safety, health, and the environment. It is the performance of people striking the common chord of creating solutions and manufacturing expertise dedicated to eliminating waste. The rhythm of Tennessee resounds through the foothills of East Tennessee and has for nearly 100 years. The original inspiration for the rhythm of Tennessee was the Little Tennessee River for one main reason. Power. It takes a lot of electricity to make a lumen. In 1910, largely because of this river, the Aluminum Company of America chose East Tennessee to build a new aluminum facility. In the decades since, the rhythm has grown stronger and more powerful. Now, Tennessee Operations maintains a network of four hydroelectric dams at Topoka and two manufacturing facilities, the North Plant, and the South Plant. Today, the Rhythm of Tennessee underscores a world-class operation focused on its vision to become the safest, highest quality, lowest cost producer of aluminum can sheet in the world. The driving beat behind everything we do is our custom. The can sheet we produce is used to make beverage containers. It's a popular sound, and we're a major player in producing it. The leading can makers of the world are the customers of Alcoa Tennessee Operations, and we provide precisely what they want, when they want it, consistently. This is what creates the rhythm of Tennessee. The beat of our manufacturing process begins in the south plant. For alumina, a raw material derived from bauxite ore, is chemically changed into nearly pure alumina through a process called smelting. Alumina is poured into electrical reduction pots and dissolved in the chemical bath solution at temperatures averaging 1,750 degrees. Over 235,000 amps of electric current separate the aluminum and oxygen molecules. The aluminum sinks to the bottom of the pot. Then it is siphoned or tapped into a crucible. About 4,000 pounds of aluminum is tapped from a single pot per day. But not all of Tennessee's molten aluminum comes from smelting. Always responsible to the environment, Alcoa is among the world's leaders in aluminum beverage can recycling. It's sweet music to the planet we share. Can recycling not only saves landfill space, it saves energy. 95% of the energy needed to make aluminum from ore. At Tennessee's can reclamation facility, recycled cans are crushed, cleaned of impurities, then melted into molten aluminum. The molten aluminum from smelting and can rack travels to the ingot plant where it is poured into large holding furnaces for alloy treatment. Then the metal is filtered and channeled into ingot casting pits. Using electromagnetic casting technology, 
The molten metal is magnetically suspended within a mold and chilled with water. This forms a solid slab of metal called an ingot. Ingots are 22 feet in length and weigh as much as 42,000 pounds. Smelting and ingot manufacturing takes place in the south plant with an additional ingot casting facility in the north plant. The beat of our process continues as the ingots are transported by the Alcoa Railroad to the north plant, our fabricating facility. First, the ingots' top and bottom layers are literally shaved, then prepared for the next step, the hot rolling process. Here, the ingots are rolled through two reversing mills and one continuous mill. The first reversing mill reduces the ingot from 21 inches to 4 and 1 half inches in 17 passes. After five passes on the second mill, the slab is now 1 and 1 half inches. The third mill is continuous and takes the metal down to one-tenth of an inch. Through the entire process, a 22-foot-long ingot is transformed into a 4,000-foot-long coil of aluminum. Next, the coils are transported to the continuous cold mill, where they are rolled to their final thickness. Continuous means the coils are welded head to tail and the 15-story high accumulator stores enough can sheet for non-stop operation. Enough can sheet to produce 150,000 beverage cans rolls through this mill every minute. Next, in our finishing area, the coils are trimmed and lubricated to customer specifications on high-speed splitters. Then the finished coils are carefully packed and shipped across the country and around the world. It is our people that generate the rhythm of Tennessee. People with a strong sense of pride and community. They say there cannot be the sound of one hand clapping, but hundreds of hands clapping together have orchestrated the rhythm of Tennessee. The voices, the sounds, the choir of people. The rhythm that began with a fast running river 100 years ago has transformed into a dream that could have no other destiny and to come true.